Tonight, a facelift for a tribute to history. Crews are now renovating the Robert Gould Shaw and Massachusetts 54th Regiment Memorial on the Boston Common. And the coronavirus set the project back, but tonight, WBZ's Anaritas Rodriguez has our first look at what we can expect. Under cloudy skies threatening rain, a dedicated group of Masons try to figure out the mystery behind this masterpiece. This piece may be uh, po possibly 32 different pieces assembled together in that fashion. Known as the Shaw 54th Memorial, the bronze sculpture is an American treasure and August St. Gaudens' most celebrated work. But the monument is more than a century old and water damage has weakened its brick core. A $3 million restoration is now underway. Friends of the Public Garden is one of the many groups behind the effort. The National Park Service considers this one of the highest preservation priorities in the nation. That is an indication of how important this monument is artistically and historically and politically. All of the bronze and stone will be removed from the plaza level up and taken off site to a conservation studio. New waterproofing will be installed and a new foundation will be built. It is a, a war monument like others in the world, but it is different in its putting forth people who were fighting for their freedom. Directly across from the State House, life size figures depict Colonel Robert Gold Shaw leading a group of African American soldiers from the 54th Massachusetts Regiment down Beacon Street and towards the Boston Harbor to leave the city and fight in the South. Its significance in viewing it really helps you to realize there is history that you might not know. Like the fact that it took almost a hundred years to etch the names of the black soldiers who died in Fort Wagner on the marble that surrounds the sculpture, or how the monument leads you into the path of the Black Heritage Trail. The beauty that this sculpture represents is a mark for humanity and humankind. A mark of craftsmanship and patriotism that will be preserved for generations to come. Amanda Rodriguez, WBZ News.